one. It's good you have this one. Uh, we have improved the screen, so now you have an even better screen in the outdoor uh, sunlight. So when you out, you really see it uh, clear. We also improved the battery time on the watch, so it's up to two days battery usage now in this watch. Uh, except for that, we as a different thing. This is run by a, a kind of not a Google uh, platform. This is run on Android Wear. And uh, uh, as you, if you saw the announcement yesterday from Google, uh, we will be announcing this on the uh, latest Google software. So this is the first watch designed to be made, uh, released on Google software. It's basically a flagship watch for Google Wear. Exactly, you can say, you can say that. Um, uh, but also, we, what we want to say is that except for Android Wear, we also have our own Sony uh, applications on top of this. So we will, uh, after launch, we will have um, a Walkman application, we will have the camera application, and we will have TV slide view. And they will be coming more and more. So these are the software upgrades that we're looking into. Do you also work with uh, Play Memories for the QA Play Memories, uh, we are looking into that not for product launch. And of course we have live from here as well. So you will be able to monitor your uh, your uh, activities. Steps you take, calories burned, uh, right, right, right now in the watch, and the UI of the watch, you can only see uh, walking and running. Uh, but we are looking into doing more and more and more. Uh, of course, live blog it's a software thing, so it's easy to, to maintain. Always in development. Exactly, basically. exactly. Um, also, it's waterproof. This is not waterproof. This one is waterproof, so it's IP68, uh, which means that you can have it for one and a half meter uh, underwater for 30 minutes. Uh, and that is also a, a big improvement that we have made. Uh, and another improvement is that it's easy to change bands. So you can easily take this off and change between different color bands, which you can see there. Are those the four colors that will be released at launch? Those are uh, the, the black and the yellow and the pink and the white will be released at launch, yes. Um, so these are the things that we have. So it's the Android Wear, Sony, uh, but then also um, the, the exchangeable bands that you can customize depending on what colors you like. The design went a bit flatter. Sorry? It, it's a little, oh, oh, I'll pick it up. Okay. I'll pick it up in a second. Uh, it's, it's gotten a lot thinner, I think. It's gotten a bit thinner. Yeah. And so the edge is all really like rounder. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks better and not like a brick on the, yeah. on the rest. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's much more discreet in this way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the, the voice commands is it so you for can... the telephone and like an answer call to it? Yes. So uh, there are several functions you can do with it. So if you want to handle a call, you can. So if you receive a call, you can. Um, you can answer or you can reject, but if you want to speak into it, you need to do so in a Bluetooth headset. So there is no uh, microphone here, you need to do that from your phone or your Bluetooth headset. Uh, one other thing that is important to say about this and very, very um, unique for this product is that you can use it as a standalone. So there are some scenarios where you don't want to bring your phone with you. So uh, let's say that you want to go out for a jog or just walking around. You can download music that you have stored locally in your phone and you can transfer it with 4 gigabyte internal memory. So transfer it via Bluetooth to your watch and then uh, connect the, the smartwatch screen to a Bluetooth headset and go out and listen to the music. That's great. Uh, that basically doubles the time you can listen to music because when the phone is almost done, you can just disconnect the watch and listen on the exactly. watch without you yeah. draining the phone anymore. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's and, then, and then you have the PS on the watch as well, so it allows you to kind of see the route. So when you're back and you synchronize with your phone again, you can see the route on your phone. So this works only with live lock, the GPS, or with the run testing too? Uh, it works with the third party, so it works with Runtastic too, yes. Thank you. Thank you.